so I was watching your one of your um, Valhalla videos just to get like because I don't know anything and I don't know where to find news yeah. like to your channel. Um, Me one too. of the things that James and I talked about and we talked about in the last podcast, um, but also you mentioned in your video is the Valhalla being the transition from hidden ones to assassins or to the ancients to Templars. Now you talk that about is. you know yourself the Crusades. Is there any way in your mind that you can somehow connect? Because in terms of real history, what I appreciate about what they're doing with the Assassin's Creed is not calling them Assassins and Templars until the, the real Crusades. Assassins and real Templars exist. See, the reason the why Crusades, they can't... Yeah, the, reason why the, the reason why they can't call the Assassins Assassins before the Crusades is because before the Crusades, the word Assassin didn't exist. Correct. So so they can't, they can't really put it in there because the word at this, at this point in time wasn't a thing. Mm-hmm. Like it wasn't. Yeah. They're, they're, everyone was speaking different languages back and in the day. Really you can't say it didn't really even exist during the Crusades. It, it was a, it kind of developed afterwards. Exactly. And it was all based on that on that concept of the of the Hashashinith, I do believe. Yes. Obviously, it came from different places as well. But the word assassin. Yeah. Came from an easier way to say. Hashashin. It came from the Europeans talking about the Hashashins. And that they. Yeah, exactly. So that is how the word assassin came to exist. So before then, they can't use the word. They've used the word assassinations in um, Origins once, and it hurt my brain because I was like, that word didn't even exist back yeah. then. But you, it you, makes but sense so lots of modernizing words. the yeah, concept. Right. Yeah, it, makes sense, it makes sense of the modernizing of they the concept, didn't speak but English. it's a key word. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So it makes some sense, but I, 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 did, I do think of it and I go, okay, fair enough. But... So they could do it in theory because of how the universe is established based on the different language and things as you've mentioned. But I don't know what to expect as yeah. far as where what will happen with that. Like you could do you could sure. I don't think I'd be too pissed off if they just if they did it and it made sense in the story that they were telling, but at the same time I'd like to have some form of historical logic to it as well. I agree. I'm totally with you. Do you but, think how how long do you think this game's gonna span? Is my question here, right? Because eight eight seventy is the year they're saying the game starts. That's, that's now, starts. is 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 Avor a child? Um, I reckon it will start before multiple then, generations? but the main bulk. Yeah, so the main it'll bulk. be a main bulk. So it'll start probably eight sixty five. Well, um, Alfred's we'll not king till the late eight eighties. No, yeah. Well, what I'm thinking is it'll start. Well, okay, maybe it'll start with um with Avor. 870 then what you said that's when it starts yeah okay I've, i must have read this wrong so if alpha is not king to the late 80s then let's assume that that is the middle part of the game so you've yeah. got you've got you, you've got youngish Avor at the start not not too young probably, yeah eight, uh hang on a, no uh, i'm totally i'm totally off i thought he was no he died in the late 880s hang on no let me okay. check so, alfred yeah. the great was king um, eight seventy one. I'm oh, totally right. Sorry, okay, he died so, in the late eight eighties. Okay, thought, so the I game does. So let's assume. 80s. Let's assume anyway that eight seventy one is sort of the early to middle part of the game. Then, based on that logic, so it will probably start maybe half a decade before eight seventy with Eivor sort of and and a bit of setup, if you will, in yeah. in good old Norway, and then we get the main bulk of the game. Yeah. Well, the, this is he was king for like story. he was king for a fucking long time. He was king. Oh, Until this is why I got it wrong. I remember because I was reading. I'm like, I swear to God. So he was king of Wessex from 871 to 886. But he then was in 886 he became king of the Anglo Saxons from 886 to 899. Because I'm like, I swear he died in 899, which he did. There you go. So he, I, I, he was king of the Saxons from 886 to 899. That's what I thought his reign was, but I, I misjudged. He was also like technic- He was called King of Wessex and then King of Saxons. So it was, they call it two completely different reigns, even though technically he was one reign as king from eight seventy one to eight ninety nine, which is almost thirty years as king. Which in those days was an enormous reign, and he achieved an enormous amount during that. Yeah, reign. huge huge amounts. So, so what we're looking at then, I think, is the span of maybe. They could go so far as to give us a full 30 year story. But I think what they'll do is it will probably end around 890 as opposed to like 899. Like Alfred might be a part right. of the story, but I don't know how key he's going to be. So you think he'd still be king by the end of the game? I don't I don't know how key he's going to be. Maybe. See, the logic here is, right, 
if it ended say with alfred's death then you'd have you'd have a full like um the last kingdom on your hands where they sort of where season four is basically okay what's next um so if you if you if you see it like that then maybe we could get the full 30 years in there the full shebang of that but also logically are we going to get 30 years of of big burly viking man Mm, it's tough eh it is probably a lot not. to cram in into a game. Probably especially. not. You're right. You're right. You're probably right. It is a lot. See, they did they did manage it once with Assassin's Creed, but that was three games, right? Yes. <laughs> and it and it was fifty odd years it, yeah, with little bits. Yeah, sixty five years if you really want to get into 60, it. Sixty. Yeah, sixty five. Told that's his entire uh, life from birth to death. Yeah, six. Yeah, they told that story. Obviously, they didn't. They they cut out bits that weren't relevant, like um between Revelations and Embers and. Is that right, Embers? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Shit. Yeah, and obviously Ezio's birth to his um seven being seventeen and doing bits, you yeah. know, those are bits that we don't necessarily need to see. They could they could do it like that where time passes, but also that you have to consider the limitations of the health of say some of these characters. Like, is that plausible? Maybe, maybe not. I mean. I'm curious as to what they do with it, as far as the time period is concerned. But I reckon there'll be a huge focus on Alfred the Great um, as a as a character, more so than a villain. Especially, it'll start off as seemingly as an antagonist, and then he'll develop more into a character that you you eventually come. I think you'll eventually come to um, to not be enemies, if you will, and then they'll then it'll develop beyond that into um, something beyond, if you get me. Like, yeah. it'll develop into a, more of an alliance, if you will. Maybe maybe, maybe a trying alliance. Like, maybe not the, the the nicest of, you know, friendships or whatever. You're not exactly getting matching tattoos. But, you know, at, at least mm. it, it's a development of character, I reckon, is what they're going to focus on. Yeah, and uh, Yeah, it's, it's hard for me to imagine how that would work if you are, a, you know, truly a Viking and your people are all Vikings. Um, you see, that's though, the thing there, there were lots of Danes that lived in Alfred's wessex but they became christian right so they were christian yeah, well, danes you see so. that's the, that's the thing about um about what we know about the settlement and about avor and his um his people is they they're not they're not like i don't know they're not overly violent if you will they are um the best way to describe what they are is they would rather make peace if you can if you if you can imagine like they that their first their first choice would be to be to you know coexist with the with the um saxons sorry my words are getting confused there so i think that i think ubisoft will do what they always do which is take a little bit of creative freedom and they'll they'll bridge it that way now i don't know how it's going to work i'm not too well versed in the setting like like i said like i said most of my knowledge comes from watching the last kingdom and i haven't really got into vikings i don't know too much about that show but well, question for you: Where do you think the settlement's going to be based? Would you? I'd argue it's either going to be Northumbria or East Anglia, uh, right? You can't have it in Mercia or Wessex. It's going to. I reckon it'll be. Um, oh God, that's a good point. Northumbria would be my best guess. Yeah. Based on where Norway is, they'll settle pretty quickly after they touch land. I'd imagine. Yeah. So it's, so it's there North, or East North, Anglia for sure. It'll be Northumbria, I think. Maybe there's not a lot maybe. of snow. The reason I think there's not a lot of snow. Or anything in 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 any of the pictures, it seems like quite a nice looking place. The settlement, which I mean, there's parts of Northumbria so, that are nice so and stuff, like, but I'd say East Anglia is a more likely. Well, if we look at where if we look at where the cities are, so for example, you've got London and you've got Winchester, and those are in those are in um, the south, and then you've got then you've got Jorvik, which is York, which is in the north east, sort of sort of Yorkshire, sort of modern day Yorkshire area, which would have been Northumbria at the time. Um, it makes me think that they're gonna they're gonna want to introduce you to one of these settlements before the other two, like they'll want you to be close to a bigger set bigger settlement as well. So it'll be near one of those, and the only one of those that's actually anywhere near a coast that sort of faces the direction of Norway is probably York. It's still not the closest ever, but yeah. it not the closest to the coast ever. It's pretty inland, but I think that's more likely where we're gonna be, sort of North- Northumbria region. But yeah. I don't know. See, it's not the necessarily the snowiest area either. True. I guess True. it depends on where you go. Yeah. Um, it doesn't really snow around this time of year anyway. I mean, imagine, yeah. imagine if I'm sweltering and sweating right now. I got outside and it's fucking snowing. Yeah, oh, true. Jesus. 
True. No, but I think that's most likely what's going to happen. But then again, it could be somewhere in um, in East Anglia because that sort of like protrudes from the um, from the east of the of the like the landmass that is you know the Brit of the the major island basically of the British Isles. I yeah. forgot what they fucking call it. Just 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 island. Well, do, I don't know. Big place. They big, talked about big regions land. that aren't announced that are going to be in this game. Are we? Do you just Wales, think Scotland, about Wales, Scotland, Ireland? Wales and Scotland. Ireland, I wouldn't say. Wales and Scotland, though, those are probably put in there. They sort of have to be in there in some ways, when you think. I mean, they're quite key as well, because well, there's a lot talk- of Well, if you're talking map size, they, they, so let's talk about map size. They said this is bigger map than Odyssey, which is what the fuck ever. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, but are we talking because half of it's water anyway? Because if you're talking, like, let's say you've got a big portion of the map, here's England, know. and then there's this big, massive water gap, and then there's Norway. Them. Like and it's all in one map as it would be. It would only be in one map. It wouldn't. They wouldn't have loading screens between the two. Um, it's just mostly water anyway. I don't know. So, it could be. It could be. That's what Wales they mean by it's Scotland. technically the biggest map, but land mass you're on, it's not the biggest. So they. It's spent- not the biggest, no, because it's quite a it's quite a small space, really. It's, it's still big because it's a full country. In fact, if you put in Wales and Scotland in there at the time, it was three. And if you want to put, if you want to be technical based on how divided it was in these different kingdoms, it was. It was a, it was a couple, of, it was a couple more than that. It was, uh, it was six kingdoms, isn't it? Because Wales and Scotland at this time were nothing to do with England, and England no. was divided into four um, major um, sections, if you will. Yeah. And so you've got, I, of course, you've got Wales, you've got Scotland. Uh, those are possible locations that we could see. If you see any promotional content with men in kilts, then you know that I don't know when kilts were pop. pop popular no, probably I. not at this time uh but if 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 you see that then you know what's up if you see any um if you see any lovely l- lovely hills with sheep in abundance then you know wales is present and i don't know how to describe scotland beyond the haggis and honestly that is a bit of a shame <laughs> but no i've probably upset a lot of people in my in the last five minutes of me talking <laughs> so yeah, then there's then there's the concept of having nor a bit of Norway that you can probably revisit if you wanted to as well. And I I wonder if there'll be locations off the co off the coast of you know England as well, not in Norway. Like for example, in the south in the southeast of England, the closest point I do believe France is only like twenty miles away. And which is Frankia at the time? Is that what it was called Frankia? It, it fucking fuck knows, man. Yeah, yeah it, prob- probably. I mean, not it wasn't me yet. Got, <laughs> yeah it's um I, i'm i'm curious i'm so probably, probably was normandy at the time actually probably the france where you can the, that part of france was probably normandy at the time just you know True. normandy yeah um, right. and that's sort of like a place i don't i don't know william the conqueror that whatever it was yeah. normandy then. well that's you know quite a while after um, well, that, n- not too far, not too long after, a couple hundred years, but yeah, you know, long enough that it won't be in the game. 